So in terms of the IPCC cycle, we're at a really interesting stage because we're, we're finishing one cycle right now and we're just about to start a new one. So it's this sort of new opportunity to think about how can the IPCC be different. I think this is a really important thing to do. I think the IPCC as an institution is really valuable and I want to support it as best I can to ensure it produces the best and most relevant science to support societal responses to climate change. The University of East Anglia is among the universities that has the greatest number of authors of the IPCC report and so we feel that we are uniquely placed to draw on that pool of expertise we have a real variety of different perspectives. Climate is not only about what happens in terms of observations, how the temperatures are changing, but it's also around how these have evolved over time, what this implies for the future, but also how we as a society then deal with the data and the information that we have and how we try to respond to it. Discussions that we're having today really give a perspective from the research community on how the IPCC can maintain its uh, relevance and importance during this absolutely critical decade for climate action. By the time the next IPCC report comes out, we could be looking at already having breached the Paris temperature threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius. I think there's a call for really broadening the audience and the reach of the IPCC. Increasingly, it needs to provide a basis not just for action by policymakers and governments, but inform and empower uh, society at large to take action on climate change. What we know for sure is that vulnerable communities are going to be impacted most significantly. So we need to make sure that we're making the best decisions possible to support those communities and to support future generations. I think academics can support the IPCC's future work by making sure that all of the great evidence that they've generated over the years is accessible, is summarized in a clear and accessible way that can be accessed by a whole range of different communities. Just having a little bit of breathing space to understand what we want to do and how we want to do it is going to be really important to informing our societal responses. It's the time to take stock of where we, where we are with this IPCC process. Academics can support the future IPCC work in a number of different ways. I think one thing is to put themselves forward to the IPCC to, to support it, particularly the young, I think, because I think they get the most out of the process. That's one of the things we're really encouraging in this workshop, to really get the next generation to join.